Hello, family. I'm Barb Edwards. Welcome to this week's devotional on the names of God. In Isaiah chapter 9 is a prophecy about a future child who would bear the government on his shoulder and be called by titles that only rightfully could be attributed to, uh, to, to God. Beginning in Isaiah 9 verse 2, the prophet declares, The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who dwell in the land of the shadow of death or deep darkness, upon them a light has shined. Verse 6 continues, For unto us a child is born. See, the purpose of Christ's coming was for us. Unto us a son is given. From eternity, God's plan was to give him. And the government will be upon his shoulder. Jesus will reign as king of the entire world. And his name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His name will be called Wonderful. When he came, he was a wonder. He transcends human understanding. He is unique among human beings. He stands supreme above everyone else. Wonderful means a wonder-working God. The pages of the Bible are filled with his wonders. He is a miracle-working God. And boy, could we use a few miracles in our nation and in our lives right now. His name will be called Counselor. Jesus reveals the mind of God. He counsels us from God's perspective. He gives God's counsel. His name will be called Mighty God. The Son of God is God Almighty. In him dwells all the fullness of, deity, of the deity in bodily form, Colossians 2.9. Mighty God means powerful warrior champion. Jesus is our champion. He is the one the world mourns and languishes for. He fights our battles so that we don't have to fight them. He fights our battles that we are incapable of winning. He is the everlasting Father. This is better translated, the Father of eternity. He is the father of our perpetuity, of our continuing future. We may not know what our future holds, but God does. He is the Prince of Peace. Only he can bring peace to this upside down, sin sick world. Can you imagine a world where there is nothing missing, nothing broken? nothing damaged, where there are ceaseless blessings, prosperity, peace, wholeness, completion. That's what this word peace means. It means that God gives victory over every chaotic place in the world and in our lives. Of the increase of his government and peace, there will be no end. Peace will characterize his reign upon the earth. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. Lord, hasten that day. Let's pray. Thank you, our triune God, that Jesus is the blessed hope of the world. Thank you that you made a covenant with King David many years before the writing of Isaiah, that Jesus would reign forever. Thank you that you are sovereign over the affairs of man. And we don't have to fear or fret about world events, but rest confidently that the whole world is in your divine hands. Thank you that you are the hope and solution for all that is wrong with this world and that you are the healing balm for all who feel unwanted, unloved, and unimportant. Come, Lord Jesus, come. In your great name we pray. Until next time, stay blessed.